Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day and we're still working on the house. Inside is done, but we have a few things on the outside. Right. And then we just need to kind of... It's um, another hot day. Yeah, it's an a over, lot of clean up nine, over 90 still. again today, 92 or something like that. Yeah, so. we we're going to show some of the uh, paper bag floor that we did in the house. We showed some of it and um, Jim's been doing some extra uh, polyurethane on top of it to make it a little bit better, a little stronger. And also I wanted to mention that we did one of those floors for Amy in her house in one of the rooms of the geek room out of uh, comic books. Yeah, we'll comic show books, that on there too. And we'll show a picture of that on there too. So it's kind of fun. Okay, well enjoy the video. Thanks so much for watching. I washed all the pillowcases because they were looking kind of dirty. So now I'm trying to put the pillowcase back on the pillow. It seems like when you do that, it always seems like they kind of shrunk because those pillows are hard to get back in those holes. <laughs> well, you don't want them to be, you know, have extra space in there. So it's just perfect. That's right. You, you do get so it good. In, it's perfect. Okay, so this is the floor which we have in our dining room and also in this area which was our. TV room or family room. We did this floor a few years back with paper bags. Actually, we used the brown paper that comes in rolls like you get at Home Depot. I've seen a lot of people that have done this, but honestly, I've never seen one that looks any better than this one that Jim did. Maybe I'm prejudiced. No, I just think he really did a great job on it. We, after we did the paper bag, put the paper bags down, which you crunch them up and then tear them, you tear them into pieces, crunch them up and put them in a solution of glue and water, just Elmer's glue. And then you put them, place them down on the floor. And one thing that he did was um, he, he then went, through and stained all of it and even what you call distressing to add some little dots of darker color in it and it just makes it look you know not all exactly the same which is a good look we just had a few little places that needed to be repaired on it since it's been on there quite a few years. So he did the repairs today and did a, another round of stain on it. So now he's putting a, another coat of polyurethane on it to just protect Oil it. Based. Oil based polyurethane works way better. And uh, I mean, we've had our kids and our six grandkids on this floor and lots and lots of puppies when we were raising dogs countless dogs in here and it's held up really well but we put uh, probably about four or five good coats of polyurethane on it when we originally did it and so it looks really beautiful and that's what he's doing so it'll be ready and good for the new owners so hope you enjoy seeing that it's a it's something a lot of people haven't seen but I, I have a lot of people that come into this house that ask, what in the world is this floor? It is beautiful. A lot think that it's leather. Some think that it's stained concrete. But um, it's, I think it's really pretty. Well, hello, Chris. It's kind of the middle of the night here. What you doing, man? It's getting close to my bedtime. I am continuing on this shower definitely turned out to be a bigger project than expected but that's everything with the school bus including the overall project itself now this back behind you you've got your grout in looks yep. really good and just getting this middle part done I always wanted to get this done tonight I try and be in bed by 
nine so I can get up at five. So I think I'm going to try and get this part done and then wake up early tomorrow and finish the shower. Awesome. Might need to get more uh, uh, grout tomorrow. It's, uh, it's taking more than usual because I used quarter inch spacers in between the tiles. This stuff's actually not cheap. <laughs> 